WeatherTrack Mobile delayed response. But the controller offline alert isn't the only communication issue that you might see with WeatherTrack. And while controller offline means we have no connection to those controllers, we also depend on the quality of that communication signal. And if you have a bad connection, it can cause a delayed response that when working WeatherTrack mobile can keep you waiting and waiting and waiting. And if you wait long enough, sometimes you'll time out and get a communication delay that can cancel your request. So if you're troubleshooting a bad connection, it's important to understand that communication reliability lives in many places. There are many points of communication in this process. And we need to figure out what's causing the delay in response, whether it's the communication signal from your phone, the communication signal from the controller, or the communication signal from the HydroPoint servers. Specifically, when you're operating WeatherTrack Mobile out in the field, you send the command from your phone that goes directly to the cell tower that communicates that information to the HydroPoint servers, which process your request, then sends it through the cell towers again to have the information land on the controller. Once the controller receives the command, a response confirmation is sent back to the cell tower, back to the server, back to the cell tower, back to the device that you're using in the field. So proper communication means that that signal is being sent and received efficiently. And if WeatherTrack Mobile is not responding at the speed you expect it to, that usually means the communication signal has been lost at some step along the way. And troubleshooting this issue involves figuring out where that signal is getting lost.